In this video, I'll be making a cake stand for our upcoming wedding. This is a great project to use up some otherwise not very useful short off cuts of timber, like this piece of beech which was badly cupped, and some hardwood that might be mahogany, I'm not sure, which I salvaged a few months back from some old doors and window frames. I'm going to start by ripping down the mahogany into 25mm square lengths at the table saw. And these had lots of old dowel holes in them as you can see, so I cut those away at the mitre saw and trimmed them all to a consistent length. I'm going to glue these up into a blank in this formation here because later I'll be turning it on the lathe. That's the first stage of the glue up done and I'll leave those panels to dry and while I'm waiting I can start working on the beach. I found the center and marked up a circle as large as I could get out of it and at this point I thought this was going to be the top of the stand as in the part that will actually hold the cake but that didn't really work out and more on that later. I roughly cut out the shape of the bandsaw and after marking the center I can add my faceplate and get it installed to the lathe. I'd never turned anything this large on the lathe before, so it was exciting and a little scary. First I used the bowl gouge to get it round. And then I could start shaping it to get rid of all of the bark. This wood is really well seasoned, it's been laying around for 30 years probably, so I'm hoping that it's not going to move any more than it already has done, but we'll see. Here I'm flattening the bottom. And I decided to add a concave curve to give it a kind of dinner plate shape. I used my square carbide tool to cut a mortise in the bottom. This will be used not only so that I can add my chuck to hold it while I work on the opposite side, but it'll also be used for the joinery later on. With the chuck installed, I can then flip it over and turn the opposite side, first getting it flat, and then working on the rim. Okay, bit of a problem. I wanted this top to be 28 centimeters in diameter. And after turning the rim down, I got a couple of small catches on the end grain. Um, so I had to turn a little bit more away and I'm now at 25 and a half centimeters so this isn't going to be big enough i think therefore i'm going to use it as a base rather than a top and another reason why i think that's a good idea is because this piece of beach has got this crack which i thought i could turn away but actually if this is going to be the bottom it doesn't really matter once I was happy with the shape, I sanded at 120 and 180 grit, and it was looking pretty smooth, so I did my final sanding at 240 grit. For finish, I'm using my own homemade food safe oil wax finish, which is available to buy on my Etsy store if you're interested. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. It's a soft blend of mineral oil and pure beeswax, and I can wipe it on with a paper towel. By this point my panels had had a couple of hours in the clamps, so the glue should be holding on its own by now and I can scrape away the excess. And to clean up the faces I'm just going to run each side through the thicknesser, which is a little bit risky because these panels are quite short in length, but I just took off a tiny amount of material each time and made sure that I wasn't standing behind it in case it did kick back. And then I can start stage 2 of the glue up. I left that overnight and then the next day I can get it out of the clamps and cut the ends clean. The mitre saw didn't have quite enough reach here though so I did it in two passes and it didn't need to be perfect, I just wanted to make sure that the ends were square really. 
So next I'm going to try something a little bit unusual to give the main shaft of the cake stand an interesting feature. I marked up a 45 degree line and cut it at the bandsaw and I'm using my speed square here in the mitre slot to make sure the workpiece was held at 45 degrees. I'm using this instead of my mitre gauge that came with the saw because it was useless. Then I'm going to just lightly sand those cut areas at the belt sander and I have this other thin off cut of beach which I'm going to rip down and splice that inside the 45 degree cut. I got the idea for this from a wood turning video that I watched by Square Peg Tommy on YouTube and I'll leave a link to his video in the description box below. He used maple and walnut on his turning but the beech and mahogany that I'm using should provide a similar look and contrast. I sandwiched it in between two boards just to keep everything aligned. While I'm waiting for the glue on that to dry I started working on the top for the cake stand and I'm using another piece of beach but this time I'm starting with a bigger piece to make sure that I'm left with a circle big enough to fit our wedding cake. The process for turning this was pretty much the same as before except this time you'll see that I needed to rotate the head of my lathe 90 degrees because the workpiece is so large and I'm really pushing the capacity of this lathe with this particular turning as you'll see here that even with the tool rest extension fitted I can't quite reach the centre with my bowl gouge yet but I knew I'd need to turn away some of the width on this workpiece anyway so I just had to turn it down to a size that would allow me to position the tool rest so that I could reach the centre. I used my circular carbide tool on the rim just to get it nice and smooth and now that I can reach the centre I can cut the mortise to the underside of the top. And I followed the same process with sanding and finishing. Then I can work on the top and I had to remove quite a lot of material from the centre here to get rid of where the faceplate screws were mounted. And then I can turn that shaft that I'd glued up earlier and to be honest I wasn't entirely sure that this would work out as I wasn't too confident about the glue up but there's only really one way to find out. I started with the roughing gouge first taking light passes to try and get it more round and then some heavier passes. Not quite there yet as you can see a little more work needed. By this point it was looking good and I needn't have worried about the glue up, that splice looked great. I did a bit more shaping with the roughing gouge to establish the shape I wanted and then I did the rest of the work with my spindle gouge. And I need to turn tenons on each end to match the mortises that I'd cut earlier. I also added a couple of detail grooves using the pointed carbide tool. I was well pleased with how it turned out. I mixed up some epoxy here because I thought it might work a little better than wood glue as these are end grain to side grain glue joints. I added a couple of weights and gave it plenty of time to cure and then finally added my maker's mark to the bottom. So that's the cake stand finished and ready for our wedding reception. Very pleased with how it turned out. I think it took about five or six hours in total to make and an experienced wood turner might be able to do it much quicker than that, but I'm still learning. I really like that spliced feature in the shaft. It's a really nice accent, I think. 
I might turn a couple of other projects ready for the wedding reception too. I've actually already started working on this bowl. Please subscribe to my channel for more weekly woodworking videos. If you'd like to help support the channel and get exclusive content, early access to my videos, free project plans and cut lists, and a name credit at the end of my videos, you can find links to YouTube channel membership and my Patreon page in the description box below. Or you can make a one-off donation via PayPal. Thank you for watching.